our philosophy is really combining the, the um, a tradition and balanced and, and flavor uh, specific things of Belgian beer tradition with new influences without uh, losing our own identity. Previously I worked in different breweries. I worked at the Hoogarden Brewery for several years, then in Holland for several years at the Dommels Brewery, and then internationally for Duvel Mortkat uh, Brewery Group. Um, but I always had a dream of one day starting my own brewery. More or less by coincidence, I stumbled upon a book in the city library, which was written at the end of the 80s, and uh, it was a whole story about the brewing history of Antwerp, my, uh, my hometown. Uh, for me it was a discovery to learn that there were so many breweries. Uh, about a hundred years ago there were more than hundred breweries in the city centre alone. Uh, but what's, what was really an eye-opener was the fact that uh, there used to be a historical beer going back to the beginning of the 1600s, really a local beer style called Safe. And that was really the beginning of our adventure. I'm born in Antwerp, my family goes back a few centuries in Antwerp, so next to beer, Antwerp is also one of my passions. And to learn that there used to be a historical beer brewed here, that uh, it was even so popular that a part of Antwerp is still named after the beer, it's called Safehook, which translates like corner of safe or neighborhood of safe. So this is really the beer that my great-grandfather, if he's a bit like me and all his ancestors probably drank quite a lot, and to learn about this beer that it had gone missing, for me it was kind of a mystery and I really wanted to learn what my ancestors used to drink. Really the first challenge was just figuring out uh, how to brew the beer. So it disappeared almost a century ago and the big challenge was even the author writing about Safe, he mentioned that not only the beer had gone missing but also the recipe, nobody had the recipe anymore. So it took us three years to track it down. We visited City Library, all the local archives, contacted families that used to own breweries. The most fun part was just talking to old brewers, 70, 80, 90 year old brewers, just trying to find the original recipe. And then we had this recipe, but uh, brewing a beer in 1900s is of course not the same as today. And then we decided, well, we're going to try to revive this first for us to know how, how did this beer actually taste. So we went to Louvain and there we rebrewed it and when we tasted this beer it was really nice and, and, and something completely different. So I was, uh, I was hooked from the, from the beginning. Yeah. Both of us we were so enthusiastic about, uh, about uh, the, the taste of the beer that we said okay this is so good, we have to share this, we have to revive this old beer, this part of Belgian beer history, this part of Antwerp, uh, and that was really the turning point. This location is an old protected monument. It used to be industry, it was part of the harbour activity, um, and since it was already industry, it was kind of an exception and we could uh, build a brewery inside of this uh, historical building. All the main ingredients were easy to, to find, so it's brewed with buckwheat, wheat, oats and barley. Especially the buckwheat is, is kind of unique in beers. The recipe I got was really a description of what to do in a brewery of 100 years ago. So no exact values, but just saying, okay, put three bags of this and two bags of that into the kettle, maximum heat for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And the second challenge was the yeast. Uh, I had every ingredient except for the yeast. So that's when we uh, contacted the University at Leuven, where they have a special um, a part of the university um, uh, on beer and brewing. Uh, they didn't have the recipe of SAFE, but they did have the yeast. So we finally had the missing piece of the puzzle and we could brew it for the first time. Making the step to not only start your own brewery, but do it completely independently, uh, that's a big gamble financially in terms of risks. Uh, uh, but we had a long discussion about it and said, okay, you only live once. Uh, let's try to fulfill our, our life's dream and start our own brewery. We also uh, made other beer styles. We made a Boches beer, which is uh, a beer tribute to the Red Star Line, uh, an old boat company here in Antwerp that has transported millions of people from Europe to the US. We also have a dry hopped lager, we have a, a quadruple a non pater. so we have different new beers as well. When we opened
opened up uh, the pub for the crowdfunders on December 16 last year. There were 1,000 crowdfunders that came here and it, it really got to me that um, those 1,000 people, they came especially for us, for the brewery to Antwerp because we also have one third of our crowdfunders coming from Holland. Uh, they, they took the time to come, to visit, to talk to us and it was so amazing the, 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 the feedback that you get because that's why that's the reason why we brew beer for those people who appreciate what you do. So that was really an amazing moment. But one and a half year ago there was nothing here. So yeah it's it's really really nice. Yeah. yeah.